How's it going everyone? So iOS 26.2 developer beta is officially released and we have it installed on our device right here on the iPhone 17 Pro. And we have our hands on the new update right here and they actually added some interesting features I want to go ahead and quickly cover. And the public beta to this should be released sometime next week, possibly around Monday or Tuesday time. So to get started, I'll be sure to include timestamps in the description down below for your pleasure. And let's start off with the first new feature and that is the liquid glass on the lock page. You see, it may be a little bit tough to see on camera, but the time itself actually is a liquid glass design now. You see, by simply unlocking your device and just long holding to have access to the control, right? If you tap customize and tap on the clock, we now have an additional slider right here. We can actually control the contrast of the liquid glass design in your background. Believe it or not, on camera it looks like I can't read that, but in real life, I can actually see that just fine. I actually do like it. That's one of the new changes right there. The, the other new change can be located in CarPlay. If you have a single DIN or a double DIN design like this vehicle is, before on beta one of iOS 26, there was a time when I was able to run two widgets at the same time. That is now resolved. As previously, the official version of iOS 26 only had one widget, now I can finally fit two. So I can fit an accessory widget and something functional on the other side. So that's a nice little pleasant update that Apple resolved. The other new change can be located actually in the Shazam app. Now this, uh, this just got added today, but the Shazam app itself now features the liquid glass design. Because if you look down here, it actually does have the liquid glass, which is kind of cool. So this isn't exclusive for iOS 26.2, you just need to update the app and you'll notice that the Shazam app now features a liquid glass design. Now we did receive a new earthquake alerts for emergencies and you can locate this now in your iPhone settings in the main page right here. If you scroll down to notifications in here, notification tab and go all the way down to the very bottom and look for enhanced safety alerts. Click on it right here. You now have earthquake alerts you can now enable. Additionally, another app that received an update is the Reminder app. You see by creating a new Reminder, tapping plus, and we create a Reminder real quick, like change the oil, not charge, the oil. If you go down and enable time, the timer will now integrate to the clock app. And if you're a listener of the, somebody who uses the official podcast app, on your iPhone, there'll be a new splash screen showing you that podcasts, the podcast app can actually generate, automatically create chapters on your podcast that you're lis listening to. So if we select a podcast as an example and we hit play, you could tap this little down arrow right here. You could skip between the different subjects and chapters that they were talking about. And then we always had the ability to use the LED light right here to flash whenever our phone receives a notification. Well, now you can actually enable it so your lock screen can actually do the same thing. You see, by going into your settings and going into the main page and you scroll down to accessibility and go into audio and visual right in here and then look for the section where it says flash alerts all the way in the very bottom in here, enable it. And now you can select LED flash, which is this thing or screen flash or both. And you can also enable it if you like the flash, if you like it to flash while unlocked or flash when in silent. So I'm gonna enable a flash when silent mode is enabled. And the way this looks like is if we lock our device and I go ahead and call myself. The screen basically just does that. Not only is the LED stroking, but also the screen itself is like pulsing, but it's no longer doing that because I'm holding a phone. And then the news app also has been slightly redesigned as well. As previously, it didn't have columns on top. Now it does, as you can see right there. Then the Apple TV app is now called Apple TV, no longer Apple TV Plus, and it also has a new redesign as well. But there you guys have it. Those are all the new upcoming changes and features that's coming out on iOS 26.2. Let me know in the comment section which one of these is your personal favorite, and make sure you are subscribed because I plan on making more update videos as the updates roll out in one giant complete video. So be sure you are subscribed for that so you don't miss out the notification when it's officially released for everybody. My name was Eddie. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to watch more, highly recommend checking out this video over there where I go through my favorite hidden features and tips and tricks for Apple CarPlay. I go through a lot of cool stuff that not a lot of people know about. Thank you so much for watching.